I'm going to show you how to take this and turn it into this, all using OBS. Let's get into it. In the streaming industry, we've been uh, we've been gifted a lot of great tools, great uh, innovations into the industry, which you know come in the form of like uh, new graphics card with the 3080 or a new audio equipment like the Go XLR and new control features, kind of like the new uh, Elgato Stream Decks, where you know they get bigger and software keeps updating, but. With all these tools, it seems like we've gotten pretty minuscule results for video. Like, let me let me give you an idea. The Logitech C920 came out back in 2012, and the Logitech Brio came out five years later in 2017, and you could shoot in 4K, but still, like, it looked like the actual quality just still wasn't there, especially in the software. It really needed some tweaking, but there is a new one that has come out and still it seems like we're getting the same result it does look fairly good but does it look like like a dslr good absolutely not but is it worth 250 dollars no i'm going to show you how you can make a 50 dollar webcam or 100 dollar webcam with this we're going to be using the logitech c920 but we're going to show you how to use that and make it look like a $500 DSLR. But don't get me wrong, it is very difficult to get such a small little lens to show such great quality like a smartphone. But the reason why that is is because smartphones have such big processors and webcams don't really have that. And that's really what is the price when you buy a webcam. It's not necessarily just the lens. But at the same time, is it impossible to do that? Absolutely not. So why is it that we've had to wait so long for such a good webcam topic for another video? But today, what I'm going to show you is how you can take some of these same webcams, even as cheap as like a $50 C920 that I got used off of Amazon. And I'm going to show you how to make it look like a brand new DSLR. First thing I want you to do is I want you to hook up your C920. Make sure that it's working whatever webcam that you're using. Make sure it's working properly and then point it at the angle and in the direction that you're going to be using on your own stream. Then with your smartphone, I want you to put it in front and take a high resolution photograph of the background that you want to be using. Then with that picture, you can put that into a free editor software and I'm gonna leave a link to GIMP down in the description down below because that's the one that I'll use and that's the one that I recommend. Although you could use others and you could use some apps on the phone, I would recommend using a computer software. It just makes it look better. And after all, you're gonna be using the image on OBS. You could also tweak these settings in OBS. And the way that you do that is that you're gonna put on a color correction filter and that way you can mess with either the contrast or the saturation or the brightness to tweak that and give it the right feel that you're looking for. Either make it a little bit darker or try to tune up the colors a little bit. Also, the other effect that I want to show you how to put on this is the blur filter. And you can do this in OBS, but you cannot do this in Streamlabs OBS. If you are using Streamlabs OBS, I'll show you how to do it in GIMP. But if you're not using Streamlabs OBS, you can do this right in there. And that is by adding the stream effects plugin into your OBS Studio or OBS Live. And I'll leave a link to that down in the description down below as well. All you need to do is click on the link, install that program, reopen OBS, and you'll see that you have a lot more options, especially in the filters area around the sources. And you will also have the new feature to blur an object. If you are using this way, then you can just insert that image into OBS and put the blur filter on it. Go lightly with it because you blur it too much and it just looks Bad. Now you could use this as an example. We're using our Sony a5100 and you can see the background and how much I actually blur it. That comes into focus and it really just gives a hint of a blur. So use discretion with it. Okay, just light touches. Now you can also use the color correction filter in OBS to touch up anything else that you guys want to. And then I'll show you how to add in LEDs. But in order to do that, you're going to have to use GIMP. Now, if you are using Streamlabs OBS, 
you can use GIMP and what you do is upload or insert that new image and then go over to filters and add on this blur filter feature and again light touches and if you're trying to use LEDs well there is a way you can do it after inserting your image as an image source into OBS then what you want to do is with your C920 video input source you're going to want to add a filter and that is a chroma key if you've never done a green screen before now's the time to at least try but chroma key on its own could be a whole nother video if you i assume that you already have figured out how to green screen yourself into something and buying uh, like a five dollar piece of green fabric over at walmart or you could be using obs's new feature which is the virtual camera which also again could be another video all on its own but guys it is pretty simple just green screen and crop yourself in to your brand new image your brand new background and and then you're done then you look like this and honestly it is a thousand times better than what you had before and that's it then you can save yourself an additional four hundred dollars or an additional 250 dollars for buying a brand new webcam that looks almost the same but then you look fresh you look good it looks like you know what you're doing and that's what people are being driven to your stream by. The quality of your stream matters a whole lot more than the consistency or, or quantity in which you're streaming. If you're streaming every single day, 18 hours a day, if the quality sucks, eh, people may not stick around. Don't be surprised, but still get your personality, right? Just kidding. I have no personality, so I wouldn't know. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a thumbs up helps the video with its ratings consider subscribing because we do a lot of videos like this if you guys have any questions you can come ask me when i'm live i stream every monday wednesday friday and most saturdays over on twitch i'll leave a link to that down in the description down below as well as a link over to our discord you guys can join that amazing community over there that we do a lot of community game nights and we help each other with our own setups answer different questions a lot of helpful people involved in the discord we definitely recommend joining that and guys, as always, stay busy, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, I just wanted to let you know, because I didn't go to electrical right off the bat. I and you want to know why? Because I don't have I any freaking tasks in a damn electrical! <laughs> <laughs>